Uh, a very good day to everyone. We are from cluster two, team number two. So now we are going to talk about the feedback control system analysis. First, I would like to introduce about the feedback control system analysis. The feedback control is used to measure the value of output, which is the temperature, pressure, level, viscosity, pH, and concentration using the appropriate measuring device. Uh, so we will use it for the measurement of Y M. So the what this measure y m will be compared with the in, uh compared with the desired value which is the y s p. So the deviation e is the differentiation between the y m and the y s p, and then the deviation e is supplied to the main controller. The controller is then changes the value of manipulated variables in such a way to reduce the magnitude and the controller does not affect the manipulated variable directly and use another device which is the pump and control valve known as the final control element. So next I will pass to sound for the block diagram. Uh, as for block diagram, block diagram is actually provides a convenient representation of the feedback control loop. They usually consist of single block or combination of blocks. So each block is the transfer function of a component represented by a block and it has, has a single input and output. As for this uh, block diagram for feedback control system, uh, the G, there are a lot of uh, standard notation, but I'm going to highlight only the main one, which is GP and GD. GP is indicates the effects of manipulated variable on the controlled variable and GD is for uh, represents the effects of disturbance variable on the controlled variable. And this standard block diagram is also used to represent a wide variety of practical problem. So as you can see at the uh, refer the, the uh, block diagram, the signal path from E to Y through block GC, GV, and GP is referred as forward path. And from Y to the co comparator through GM is called feedback path. And also to evaluate this uh, block diagram. To evaluate this block diagram, the performance of the control system, we need to know how the control process responds to the changes of D and Y S P. And as you can see, there is two disturbance, uh, sorry, there are two uh, control problem, which is load problem and also servo problem. Load problem is Y over D, which is due to the disturbance on the process and servo problem is y over y s p which is due to the changes in set points as for load problem the examples are like temperature pressure concentration moisture and ph and as for the server problem which also known as a set point tracking the examples are like uh, satellite navigation radio control robot uh, yeah, that's all for for me. Okay, next we consider the three basic uh, feedback control modes. Uh, firstly, is proportional control. Second, is integral control, and the third one is the derivative control. The additional part is the combination of the both three type of feedback control modes. Okay, for the proportional uh, control. Basically, the feedback control is to reduce the error signal to zero. So, based on the equation given, ET is the error signal, YSP is a set point, and YM is the measured value of the control value uh, control variable. Okay, for the proportional control, uh, is the controller output which is proportional to the error signal. So, the equation is. Pt uh, equal to 
P bar which is bias value or steady state value. KC is a controller gain. Uh, and ET is an error signal. So the concept behind the proportional control are uh, the controller gain can be adjusted to make the controller output changes as sensitive as desired to deviation between set point and control variable. Second is the sign of KC which is controller gain can be chosen to make the controller output increase or decrease as the error signal increase. Uh, for the second type is integral controller, uh, integral control, the, uh, which is the controller output depends on the integral of the error signal over time. Okay, the equation is given like that. So integral control action uh, provide an important pr uh, pr practical advantage uh, to eliminate the offset and the disadvantages of um, the disadvantage of integral control is um, it tends to produce oscillatory, oscillatory response of the control variable. The third one is derivative control. Derivative control is to anticipate the future behavior of the error signal by considering its rate of change and to improve the dynamic response of the control variable by reducing the setting time, which is the time it takes to reach the steady state. Mm, the derivative action also referred as reaction, pre-act, or anticipatory control. So that is the given um, equation. And the last one is pro, uh, the combination of proportional integral and derivative control. So there is three form of PID control, which is parallel, series, and expanded form. So the expanded, uh, the equation in the, in, uh, the, the equation given is the parallel form without the derivative filter for the parallel and series form. However, for the, um, with, a derivative filter, uh, you can see at the table 8.1 for the uh, for the latest book. And the expanded, the last uh, type is expanded form. Uh, for the um, expanded form, there are three gains, which is uh, KC, KI and KD rather than others form which include only KC, Tawan and Taudi. That's all. Thank you.